All right, everyone, we are back with another off-season war. Today I'm going to be taking in Apocalypse, Cosmic Ghost Rider, and Cable. I'll be taking Path 8 in Section 1 and Path 6 in Section 2. Not much I'm really testing here. Just had a few hunches and really wanted to take in CGR and Cable with Apocalypse Synergy. So went ahead and just took these paths specifically for the matchups. Um, this Warlock here with Cosmic Ghost Rider, pretty straightforward. Um, obviously, if I accidentally trigger decks like I do there with this node, since it has Power Drain, I'm gonna try and squeeze out SP1 instead of trying to push the SP2. Um, this will get me to five judgments and this will reset once the Power Lock is gone. And now I can work again to possibly landing the SP2. Um, so the power drain is back up. Our rotation's going well this time. And down he goes with the first hit of SP2. So pretty straightforward fight. Obviously a lot better if you can avoid decks the first time. Moving on, I figured I, figured I should get some apocalypse practice against Jabari. Um, just because he is a good option with the fact that his debuffs can't be shrugged. However, that stun does get shrugged, so it was more of like practicing playing smart here. Um, I did tech or did mutant boost with the idea that I'd build the SB2, drop a big SB2, and just cycle SB2s. But what you're going to see is just with spacing and everything that that doesn't work out, and I actually end up throwing a lot of SB1s. Um, what I do do is I do utilize the stun through block, obviously making sure that the cleanse is gone before I try and trigger that stun um, so that it does not get shrugged and I just out of instinct throw a heavy and then end up getting punished for it. So I'm um, going decently well here. She didn't have suicide, so she's not going to kill herself off. And here you can see I'm pretty cornered, so... I went ahead and parried off the wall and then decided to throw SB1 instead of waiting for SB2. This And this put her pretty close to 50% uh, health. And there, stun through block again into another SB1. So we're doing really well, backing her up, making space. We've pushed her to her wall. And I think we utilize that stun through block one more time. Maybe not. We're going to weigh out these footloose buffs. Paying attention to the parry, like I told you. Now she's in the hunt, so she's not immune. More so debuff immune, period, I think. Might be stun immune. The hunt is gone. Waiting out these footloose buffs. Paying attention to cleanse. Parry off the wall into SB1, and this should end it. So pretty smooth. Very heads up fight. Moving on to a not very heads up fight. This guillotine 2099 I had planned on taking with Ghost Rider, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Um, the node here changed, so there's really actually nothing to worry about with a champ who doesn't have their own prowess. Because um, she's not going to build more than the one on the node, so she's not going to benefit from the node. Um, here I was trying to go through the rotation. See there, trigger dex, and with this node, because there's not a power drain, I should have built to SB3, probably would have, would have been the fastest. Um, chose to go the SB1 to reset judgments, and then threw that heavy a little bit too soon. So I throw it again. Now she's, her cloak isn't on cooldown, so I threw it again too early, but I at least got it for the judgment. So here I'm trying to get a parry in so that I can land another heavy just to reset the cloak. Now go through the rotation for SB2. So power gain judgment. And then medium ender. Nope. <laughs> and I think that's where I screwed up. I didn't power locker, so I was a little worried. Oh, I might push her to SB3. Luckily, she stopped just shy. We didn't hit the five judgments because I didn't do the medium ending combo. And then I just kind of force a KO there. So not the most 
perfect CGR fight, but it works out. All right, moving on to the storm. Snowed, in my mind, got a little bit easier since it doesn't have power focus too. Um, really, you actually do well against this node if you're not blocking. Um, so I do that parry to start so that the, dis the disorient timer can go ahead and start and I can build immunity for the apocalypse. One thing I have to be mindful of here, and I fail right there, is to actually see the stun place when I'm hitting into her block if I'm trying to stun her. And when it doesn't, I need to back off on using the heavy. I just need to finish the combo. So trying to bait out this SP1 that she's just not giving me. Finally throws it. Back at it. Again, I'm not going to be blocking much. So high ground charges, not really a worry to me. There we go. We got the stun. So we threw the heavy. Paid out this SP1 and we get intercepted dashing back. No big deal. Luckily she didn't get the SP2 off of that. Trying to get this SP1 out. It's just not having it. <laughs> and finally throws it. Okay, and so we go finish it. And she took some recoil damage, so it's over. Not too difficult of a fight if the AI cooperates. This last one I I did kind of plan on taking, but as I thought about it, I thought about how bad of a matchup this was. So off season war, I thought, hey, let's go ahead and just mess around and try it. So um, my game plan here was to use the stun through block quite often. So even if he auto blocks me, I figured, hey, I'll just stun him and then keep hitting him um, so we're getting we got the ebb and flow intercept down we are baiting out sp1 pretty well we're paying attention to when a heavy opportunity presents itself off the stun um, but he can auto block mid or mid s uh, special attack so puts a small kink in the plans Nothing too major. Got a nifty ebb and flow intercept on that part. Now his high ground charges are building up pretty high, so. Not sure why I threw that into his block. I was, I think I would, thought I was gonna stun him. Maybe I was just half a second too soon on when it was gonna work out. So the stun and the heavy off the wall is kind of nice when I'm trying to find openings, but not getting the protect off. Oof, the blocked SP1, that was not good. And then the accidental block hit there. And then a bunch of whiffs here. And then step back, doom. So not an ideal counter there. But anyways, that was the end of my off-season war. Go ahead and hit subscribe, and I will see you guys at the next one.